Hey guys, it's me Liz. I'm just giving you a really quick shot of the way that I look. I don't know if you can see my makeup. I'll do it up close in a little bit. But anyways, I'm getting ready to go to an audition and I just kind of wanted to do like a not get ready with me because I, I take a while. And that's my dog Pebbles on her bed. Bam Bam somewhere in the living room. But anyways, I just wanted to show you what I take. Um, there, I think you can see my makeup maybe better there. But what I'm do for like um, auditions. So like today I'm going in to Daniel and Greenstein or Greenstein casting offices, which I've actually been going to them since like 2007. So what, 11 years now? My first thing for them, I think was Kath and Kim, which was that uh, short lived show with, uh, oh my gosh, Molly Shannon and Selma Blair. And, uh, and they've been bringing me into the office ever since. And I'm today I'm going in for Superstore. And this is the outfit that I chose. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna just show you kind of just like the stuff that's on the beds, pardon the mess over there in the corner. Um, but yes, so I do very basic makeup. So that's my headshot and my resume it's behind it. And then those are my sides, but I actually can't show you those because that would be spoilers. But I just wanted to show you what I just normally wear for a um, audition. I'm very, I go very, very basic and minimalist. Um, I actually think I learned this from Ashley Graham, like this morning routine, because I'm just not a person that wears makeup on my day to day life. And uh, Ashley Graham just did like a 10 minute thing on Ellen a few years ago. And that's where I kind of learned it from. So I just do I do my eyebrows, I do um, line the upper inner lid, um, powder. Oh, I forgot my concealer, but my concealer is that elf one with the the highlighter or whatever that it comes with. Um, and then my Too Faced bronzer, uh, eyelash curler. And then this is this um, MAC mascara that was actually given to me on um, on set of, um, it was Unimundo 45 that I shot this July. So it's Bold and Bad uh, Lash by MAC. And it has like this, the big applicator and then the little applicator for the bottom lid. So I really like this. I've really been liking this product, especially because I have very long and straight eyelashes. This actually really works great. And then I use beads wax texture hair uh, hairspray wax for my hair to hold it and that seems to work really well when especially when I do my bun and then I'm, I actually have my little bag with my Poshmark somebody bought something from my Poshmark uh, store and so I'm mailing that out today after the audition but that's basically it so what I did was um, last night I went over the material but I think like three times maybe I don't like to overdo it because I want to still find some spontaneity in it when I do it you know for them and then I've went over a couple of times this morning and now I'm leaving to my audition because they're out in Hollywood and I'm in the valley and it's gonna take me about 20 minutes to get there my audition is until 11 but I like to get there early so I can go over the material once more and then just like park and be okay and like not be all flustered when I get there I don't like running late to auditions because then I get flustered and then like I have a lot of nervous energy that I have to like sort of try and get through and it's just a whole thing and then I actually I'm gonna stay dressed like this because I have to be as y'all know if you saw my previous video to my side hustle which is Gap Factory so I'm gonna wear this today a little fancy I actually I bought this top at Poshmark um and it's like this nice like I love the color and this little like embellishment um, Michael Kors top that I bought for like I think like 11 bucks or something like that I'm not really sure I forgot how much but um but yeah so um it's thrifted guys <laughs> anyways I will come back to you guys when I arrive to my audition and I'm parked and sort of settled and then after um so y'all can kind of see the before and after process of auditioning. I can't show you my sides again, you know, because it would be spoilers and I don't want to get in trouble. I still want to work, guys. Um, but, you know, like I mentioned before, it's for Daniel and Greenstein casting office and uh, it's for Superstore, uh, which stars America Ferrera on NBC. Oh, which actually, weirdly, I was her stand-in uh, for Real Women Have Curves when they did their photo shoot for like the promotional stuff that they were doing. I was her stand-in for that. Weird. Cool beans. Well, I'll come back later. Bye guys. Hi guys, it's me again. So I'm outside of the audition place and I'm kind of just waiting. I've got about 10 minutes before I have to go in. I'm trying to go over material. I actually have to give my friend a call right now. She lives in Lethbridge, Alberta, and sometimes she'll help me with lines before an audition. I was actually talking to her on the phone. On my way here, I'm a little nervous. I actually always get nervous before an audition. I think it's pretty normal. 
I hope. I always feel that the day that I stop being uh, nervous is the day that I should stop doing this because then maybe I'm just not that into it anymore. But um, anyways, yeah, you can probably hear all these cars around me. That's just my latest update. I can feel the nerves in my tummy, like butterflies and like just this energy. I can't ever explain it. It's just, it's like, I guess it's a combination of like fear of failure and excitement and I guess wanting to do a really good job because again, like I mentioned previously, I've been into this office for 11 years now and uh, they seem to like me because they keep bringing me in. So that's a good thing. And uh, I just wanna, you know, I wanna make them proud and like not let them down and show them that I, I can do this. You know, that the, I guess, trust that they put in me to bring me in to read for them, you know, that it's very appreciated that I, that I'm, that I don't suck at this, I guess. Um, so yeah, so I will talk to you guys after I get out of the office. It shouldn't take long. It generally goes pretty quickly. So I'm probably going to be in there less than 10 minutes, if that. Um, but I have to go pee. So I'm getting out of the car now and I'm going to go do that and then prep. So yeah, we'll see uh, how that goes. Hi. So yeah, that definitely didn't take long. It was pretty quick. There was only one, well, sort of two people. Cause as I was getting there, she was going in. So I signed in really quickly, peed. And then as I came back out, the person that was waiting had already gone in as well. So it took like less than 10 minutes, literally. And, uh, it was really quick. Uh, it was good. Although I was a little, um, I, I guess thrown off because I, the way that I originally envisioned the character was very different than the way that they envisioned her. And I guess I missed the description. So we generally get something from our agency or management, which has like the breakdown of like what the office that we're going in for, the name of the character, when the audition takes place, like what day, what time, where, the address. And then also just a brief description of the show or film that we're going in for. And then a brief description of the character. I, for some reason I missed it in the breakdown. I knew it was there. You you know it's always there but yeah so I missed that so the approach that I originally envisioned in my head was very different as soon as I walked in the note was to make her a little dry or not a little just make her dry and I was not going for that approach so I flubbed my lines the first uh, pass through in like you know like not even a third way in but um they were kind enough to let me start at the beginning and that's the one thing that you you learn or that that is good to know as an actor is that you can always stop if for some reason you flub something and it's you're getting flustered just say like you know what can i take that back from the top again and more times than not you find that the casting directors are extremely accommodating because they want you to do good like at the end of the day they want to find the person for the role so they want you to do good all i think most of the time we're just like so scared or at least not we I should say me I used to be so scared of like taking up their time so I would just go through it really quickly and I was always just like this like ball of energy and nervous energy and um just trying to get out of there as quickly as possible because I didn't want to take up a lot of their time but then I realized I was like wait like they actually want me to do good because they want to cast this so I need to take my time and I need to if I need to start from the beginning again, then I should start from the beginning again in order so I can give them the best take that I can, especially if they're taping, if they're casting off of tape, which was the case with this, they were casting off of tape. Because generally you can either go for pre-read and then from there you go to, you know, the casting director and producers or, you know, it works differently. And then the producers want to see you in person and then there's also network, but that's generally for series regulars or recurring guest stars. But in this case, it happened to be that um, the producers were casting off of the tapes that the the casting office was filming today so they want you to do good so i flubbed my lines uh he let me go back to the beginning to do it again and then i feel like i nailed it the second time i feel like i had a few good moments in there um but i don't know we'll see um i i tossed my sides as soon as i left the office because one of the things that i used to do is i used to keep my sides and i would beat myself up after the auditions um and then just think about it constantly and like oh i could have done this or i could have done that or like you know why didn't you do this or that so now my the first thing I do is I throw away the sides and then I just get in my car and I usually call someone to get distracted so that I'm not thinking about what I did and didn't do. So yeah, and now I'm in my car and I'm talking to you guys. So uh, I guess that's it. That's a day um, in my life of auditions. And I actually have one on Wednesday for a horror flick. Um, so I'll probably film for that then too and maybe show you a little bit more of the process than this because this was a little bit more not condensed but it wasn't as much as I wanted to share it just because I can't you know it's 
being respectful of, uh, of the show that I'm going in for and the casting office that I'm going in for. And, you know, there's only so much we can share without spoiling certain things. So that's it. Okay. Bye. See you next time. I'm